York Fashion Week has gone digital. And what exactly does a digital fashion week look like? Well, here with all the details, including a few of the glitches on this new frontier of fashion is WSJ fashion columnist Christina Binkley. Hi, Christina. Hi, Tanya. So you call this the wild, wild west for fashion week. It must be exciting to watch it unfold in a whole new way. It is, it is, I have learned so much I can't imagine. Almost everything I anticipated has not happened, but a lot of, <laughs> lots that I didn't anticipate has happened. <laughs> I love it. So give us some of your favorite examples so far. You say that Carolina Herrera had a lovely approach to her show. Is that right? Yeah, she had actually, it's interesting. I've, I've noticed overall that some of the best run businesses actually have the best run live streams and digital communications. Carolina Herrera had a fabulous show. She had two 360 degree cameras that you could operate with a mouse on your laptop and wow. then a, a, a traditional live stream where you saw the clothes up close. And you could actually see the clothes very well, which I'm sure is not the case with all the live streams. <laughs> you know, there have been some shows, Hood by Air, I'm not sure what they showed. I had to go back and look at the, it was really, it was so dark in that room that you could see silhouettes, but not really any detail. Lighting is important. Now you say that Tori Birch also had a, a good live stream, is that right? Yeah, she had a fabulous one, as a matter of fact. That was one where I got a little lost. This happened to me this morning in, in Michael Kors as well. I got a little lost with the people watching because it was so well lit. I could see everybody in the audience. So I was sort of hearing who's doing what, who's Bill Cunningham photographing. It was fun. The celebrities competing with the clothes. Now, were there any major glitches with all this technology? Well, I missed opening ceremony entirely. I'm not sure what happened. They say that there was a, a uh, an electrical outage. Some people saw it, 300,000 people, but right. um, but but I missed that one. Um, so that was that was a difficult. Right. Cool. So who knows what happened there? Now, what about Kanye West's Yeezy fashion show? How was that received? <laughs> well, too many, two million people saw it, so wow. it was it was widely received. It was a little cl cringe worthy, but part of that is is uh, is Kanye. This I stuck with this live stream for two hours. I was exhausted when it was over. I wow. mean, he he live streamed every single moment. Two hours. My goodness. Now, Christina, did all the brands and designers embrace this brave new digital world this year? No, as a matter of fact, there are a lot of Luddites, I'm going to call them. There, there are some who just haven't gotten out there. They're still putting their two-dimensional photographs out on Vogue Runway, but not doing much more. There's a, mm -hmm. dozens of brands doing that. And a couple of brands have come out and done social media bans. I was really surprised to see, as a matter of fact, one of the, the social media bans was announced on Instagram. There's got to be irony there yes, by a, an up-and-coming brand called Jacquemus. Um, and MSGM, which is wildly popular, it's a millennial brand, has asked people not to take photographs at their show in Milan. Very interesting. And how did the whole retail component work its way in? Did some of these big names like Tori Birch and Carolina Herrera, are there some things that are now immediately available to purchase? There are. As a matter of fact, you could have had a, a shopping spree yesterday and, and, and the day before you could have bought dresses from Diane von Furstenberg right off of her. It's hard to call it a runway because she dropped the runway and did a, a sort of fun presentation this time. Um, Tori Birch was selling track suits. They were kind of salted in among the fancier stuff in her runway. But uh, shortly afterwards, she popped up on her website and says, buy these track suits now. <laughs> They're ready to go. Now, lest we forget the clothes, Christina, <laughs> what are the uh, standout trends you're seeing? Okay, here's your shopping list, Tanya. Okay? Got, it. Got it. You ready? Okay. I'm writing it down. <laughs> you need midi skirts and, and midi dresses. Midi is just all over the place. That sort of mid shin length um, uh, length for, for, for skirts and dresses is absolutely it. Okay. Um, for evening, I recommend a dress or pants with metallic sheen, almost metallic fabrics, gold and silver, all over the place. There's a lot of transparency that's continuing from past seasons. So, you know, make, we're going to have to make sure we have the, the, the underwear to go under these things. Um, throw on a bomber jacket. They are also everywhere. I'm a little concerned about this trend. I'll, we'll wait and see if this continues in, uh, in Europe, and we'll know if it's, if it's, if it's a long-lived trend or not uh, based on that. And by the way, make sure that your midi dress is in some kind of a murky color, sort of a, a dingy yellow or green. Oh, my goodness. I, that's one I might pass. I'm not sure that length looks great on me, but I'll go for the metallic and the bomber. I can definitely... <laughs> just not, a, oh. not at the same time, right? Not a metallic bomber jacket. <laughs> but no, you can do that. Okay. You can. I've seen two. <laughs> good, good. All right. Thank you so much, Christina Bigley. My pleasure.